In this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at how to create a stealth camouflage or cloak effect and apply it to the third person character blueprint. So to begin with I'm going to just come inside my materials folder and just create a new material and I'm going to call this cloak. We'll open this up and it's set to opaque blend mode and because we want it to be invisible we need to change it to uh, translucent. Okay so to begin with we're just going to hold down number one and left click to get a single constant and we're going to throw that into the opacity and we're going to leave the value at zero and the reason for this is because we're going to be controlling the cloak effect using refraction. So I'm going to hold down S and left click to get a scalar parameter and I'm just going to call this uh, refraction amount and a good value to start with is well let's start with one and then let's just throw that into the refraction input okay and we'll just hit apply and wait for that to compile and we're going to throw this material onto the mannequin here and we're also going to throw it onto the U logo you can see it's a separate material ID and we'll just wait for it to compile okay so we can see that the character is now completely invisible and that's because the refraction amount is set to one and that's pretty much equivalent to having no refraction at all so we're just going to hit the scalar parameter and because we created that we can see it update real time and you can see as we change that we can see the effect there so I like just choosing the value 1.1 and what we're going to do now is jump to our third person character blueprint and set it up so we can toggle our cloak on and off and just make sure that you've hit apply in your material Okay, so inside the third person character blueprint, we're going to just drag out the mesh slot and just drag out from here and just type in set material. And we're going to need two of these, so I'm going to drag it out again and type in set material. The reason being is if we select the mesh slot here and just open it up, you can see we've got two material IDs. So we've got one for the body and one for the chest logo just here. So element zero and element one so element index is 0 and element index is going to be 1 here okay and both of these can be the cloak material that we've created and we can say when we press F we can activate the cloak and then we can select all of these and just hit control W to instantly duplicate them and then we're going to change this back to the body material and this one back to the logo okay and I'm just going to drag out from the F and use a flip-flop so A will be going to the cloak being activated and B will be going to the cloak being deactivated so we can jump back into the game and we now have a basic cloak that we can toggle on and off using F so I hope this tutorial helps and thanks for checking it out